this is uh, what is my YouTube? Oh yeah, this is Sensation. Uh, doing a. I'm actually gonna do a quick review of the Bachman uh, Bachman DD40 AX uh, number 6919 and number 6910. So we'll start off with 6919 here first. Now with 6919, as you may see, it is an eight axle engine, uh, and it has the little beacon up here, and it's got light number boards and a headlight, and that's all fun and games. Unlike the Athern one, this one can fit around an 18 inch radius curve, uh, because it's got a truck mounted coupler instead of a frame mounted coupler. Uh, both of these are DCC standard. Uh, they will both pull about the same amount as an Athens Genesis DD40. Uh, you can look for my buddy Snoop702 to do a review, possibly, of his Athens Genesis DD40, and he may say something else different. But uh, in my mind, these two work great together, only because, well, I have two of them. <laughs> Other than that, let's look at some details. Uh, I, pardon me if I miss a few details, uh, I've got shades on currently. Let's take a look here at some details. This, uh, the Bachman model doesn't look too bad for uh, for detailed for details. And then move down the engine. It's a pretty it's a very it's a pretty big engine. I mean it's I mean it is eight axles. It's a single motor drive. Um, it also does have a headlight in the back, but that turns off when you put it in forward. Right now it's in neutral. Uh, these one, this one, 6910, does not have its lights on currently, only because I don't want to wear them out so much. Let's go back to 6919, however. 6919 was the first, in, was the first DD40 that I bought. It was the first DD40 that I bought. Uh, 6910 back there was uh, a trade, and I'm pretty happy with the trade. Both engines roll really well. Uh, they do, the only issue I have with them is they're not weighted enough to pull more because honestly these two should pull as much as my Norfolk and Western Class A sitting right over there. Get you a better picture. That engine right there. So, but since I don't pull as much, uh, you have to do two of them. I have to usually use two to pull all of my freight cars. Uh, leave a, uh, if you see this, uh, leave a comment in the comment section and uh, tell me if you want to see a review of some of these freight cars. I do also have a Schnabel car available for review. Anyway, back to the DD40s. Uh, 6919, I'm not entirely sure what happened to the real locomotive. Uh, but I don't care. Uh, I know 6936, I believe is the number, of the DD40 that, is, that uh, still is around to this day. Now, I know there is a DD40 here in St. Louis um, at the Transportation Museum, but I don't remember the number of that one. All I know is when I used to volunteer over there, uh, Union Pacific came out and took the motor, took the engine out of the, out of the engine. So they took the diesel motor, uh, they took two, the two diesel motors uh, out of the DD40 that we had here in, uh, here in Missouri. But uh, other than uh, uh, getting back to this one, the Bachman model is a pretty, is a very nice model. It runs very well. Uh, I have really no complaints about it other than the fact that it needs a weight, that it needs more weight in it. And also the shell needs, should be able to come off a little bit easier. But, uh, I mean, because the only way to get the shell off of here, and the nuts will turn off, is to take that screw out, that screw out, then the whole, and the fuel tank comes off, and then there's four more screws you gotta take off, and then, just for, just because they feel like it, there's four more screws you gotta take off to get the rest of the engine, to get the rest of the shell off. So that's a ton of fun. But... Anyway, I think I just did an accidental overload. There you go, the lights are on now. I'll turn the lights on on 6910. There we go. 
And now those are on, so now you can see them both kind of flashing at the same time. Uh, with 6919, however, that's the dog, um, who, protect, who protects my trains when I'm not home. 6919, when it moves, the, the beacon uh, does has a consistent speed. When 6910 moves, however, I mean, not when I'm pulling it, obviously, but the beacon uh, stays constant, so it doesn't actually shut down. So it doesn't actually flash like it is now. But other than that, the detail is very well, is pretty is pretty good on the Bunny's Bachman models. Uh, I'm I'm very happy with the way these run, so they get a thumbs up of approval. Nice job, Bachman. All right, this is Sensation. Signing off. See you later.